Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Leon, you already did a tier list literally the other week ranking all the Halo Infinite maps. And that's true. Check out that video if you haven't already. And you've also done a tier list ranking every Halo Infinite helmet. That is also true, but that was a little while ago. Today, we're taking it a step further and ranking every Halo helmet ever, I think, as long as they're all present on this tier list. That's the plan. We're going to be ranking every single helmet from the Halo franchise from every game. I know I've done videos talking about my top five helmets. I know I've done a tier list on all the Halo Infinite helmets, but this is much bigger as I'm comparing literally all of them. And there is a lot here. This is including every helmet from Halo Infinite Season 2, so pretty much every single one up to this point. There will obviously be more in the future, so I'll more than likely end up doing more Halo Infinite tier lists, but I don't know if I'll ever revisit this idea, maybe a couple years from now, who knows. But yeah, if you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I really do appreciate it, and it really does help the channel out. Let me know which your favourite Halo helmet is down in the comments, but without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. Okay, so I don't really know how I want to rank this. I don't know if I go by each game. Do we start with Halo 3? Do we start with Halo Infinite? I, I really do not have this as planned as I should. Uh, so we'll probably just we'll probably just put them in at random. We're going to start by putting the Mark VI in S+. I've already explained before. I love the Mark VI. It's iconic. It's, it's Master Chief's helmet. And I love Master Chief. I am Master Chief's biggest fan. <laughs> so every version of the Mark VI, well, for the most part, I think, yeah, pretty much every version of the Mark VI is going in S+, plus because it's an S+, plus helmet. You can't even you can't even try and deny it. You can say it's a generic pick and all this sort of stuff. But there is no denying that it is simply peak sci-fi. It is peak design. There is a reason it is arguably the most popular helmet. It is simply the face of the franchise. It has earned that spot in S+. Plus. So that is where it is going to go. We have it there again. I take it, yeah, Halo 5 doesn't show because Halo 5 and Halo 4 share the same version. The Halo 4 and 5 one isn't as good. I guess same with Halo 2 Anniversary. So we're going to move these down. We're going to have Halo 3's first. Move those two down a bit because they're good. They're just not as good. There's only very slight differences, but they are noticeable. I'm also going to put ODST, the Reach version, in S. Reach ODST is, like, again, just kind of peak design. Uh, but I also really like Halo 4's, which might be a bit of a controversial take. Uh, I just think it's cool. It's not as good, I don't think, but it's still a very cool helmet. It's kind of like its own thing, but also not really. I just I just like it. I would like them to bring that version back at some point too. And then we also have Halo 3 ODST, which is also S tier. ODST is a very good helmet. Again, you can say it's a generic pick, but there's a reason it's so popular. It's because it's actually a good helmet. Um, we should probably put Firefall in as well. And I know Firefall is... Uh, it's basically just ODST. I honestly... I, I really like Firefall. No, not B tier. We'll put that, put that in S just below the original even though i think it's growing on me a little bit more i think the only reason i don't have it as high is because you have to pay for it <laughs> you have to pay a good chunk for it as well uh, nightfall is a we're just going to rank the other odst variants a sec nightfall just isn't as good it's still solid uh but it's just not as good hell jumper again it's good I, there's just something about it i don't like as much firefall is just a cleaner version of hell jumper while we're here we're also just going to put yokai in s plus why wouldn't i at this point it is it's essentially like, it's my whole thing. My profile picture is Yokai. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the only way I can really explain it. I love this helmet. I don't like it as, uh, I like it more than Locus. I know it's essentially like a Yoroi version of Locus. It's like a new version, but I think it is a much better helmet. While we're on the topic of Locus, we might as well rank that too. If I can find where it is on here, Locus is there. I'm gonna put Locus in B. I don't think it's bad, but Yokai is simply the much better helmet. Infinite version of Locust, I'm a little bit mixed on. I think it's very cool depending on your setup. I guess to be fair, that kind of applies with any helmet. You can make any helmet look bad depending on your setup. As, well, almost any helmet. The Mark VI always looks good. ODST almost always looks good. Yokai almost always looks good. But yeah, regular Locust and Infinite Locust are going to sit in B tier, which I think is a pretty fair ranking. Uh, I think they're decent. They do have a cool design. I like Locust. Locust grew on me a little bit more because of Red versus Bloom, but as a whole, it's not the best helmet by any means. Since we mentioned Yorai, Yoroi, we're going to rank the rest of the Yorai helmets, starting with Kabuto. Kabuto is definitely an S-tier helmet. It's, I think it's a pretty iconic one in terms of Halo Infinite. I think it's a pretty recognisable one. 
I remember everyone was getting super hyped when they first showed off the multiplayer and they showed the Yori helmet right at the end. Everyone was dead excited about it. And the fact that at one point it was going to be paid, even though 343 said it was going to be free, is insane. I'm so glad we don't live in the reality where you had to pay for Kabuto. And I think it was definitely the right move, making sure it was definitely free, as promised. Well, it's an S tier helmet, it's such a good design. Uh, as for the default Yori one, if I can find it, that's C tier. It's okay, it's a good default helmet, it's a good starting helmet for the core, but as a whole it is not a great helmet. And then we've got Con Mage, which is where, why can't I, there it is, the Con Mage is dog water. It's kind of like EVA, but with like a mohawk. I get what they were going for with the design, I just don't like it. I think when it comes to Yokai and Kabuto, they both work as Halo helmets. Uh, the default one, kind of, but Kabuto, not so much. Um, not Kabuto, Con Mage, sorry. Getting me, getting me helmet names mixed up, but Con Mage is not a very good helmet, I don't like it. Uh, and since we just spoke about that Fracture event, let's rank the rest of Eagle Strike. Brody, I'm going to put in... I want to put Brody in A tier, only because with its attachment, it looks really good. Without it, not so much. But when you put the attachment on, and I know that's it's a Porsche, you know, we've got to consider the attachment. Um, which I probably won't do with most helmets, but Brody with the attachment looks solid. Without it, it's kind of eh. I'm not a huge fan. I do like that with Eagle Strike, the helmets are all kind of based off of different actual, like, real-life military helmets. Obviously, this one is based off the British, the M19 is based off the French, I think, and then uh, we all know what Kerberos is based off. Kerberos is definitely an S-tier helmet, though. It's it's really cool. Um, it, yeah, again, it's kind of like, it's the main one I think people think of when they think Eagle Strike, and it's the one that most players that use this core tend to use. Uh, even though more people probably have default, but if you're playing Eagle Strike, chances are you're using uh, Kerberos. Lead Belcher is also decent. It's a BT helmet. It's basically EOD. It's just, it's like World War II's version of EOD. EOD. The default one is also going in CT. I do think it's a little bit better than the default one for Yoroi, but it's still not, a, it's still not the best helmet at all. It's decent, it's just not the best. Uh, M19 again is also C tier. I like it a bit more like the, than the uh, the default Yori one, but it's not the best helmet. And I feel like we're missing maybe two. Are we missing one or two? Ugh, I don't like I don't like the one with the wing on its head. I can't even remember what it, it's called, but I don't like it. It's based off the Rocketeer, which is cool, but I I don't care. I don't like that helmet very much. Since I mentioned EOD, let's quickly rank that too, and that's also going to go in B tier. Uh, it's, it's actually crazy seeing them right next to each other because you can actually see how similar they are. EOD is a pretty solid helmet. I remember I used it quite a lot in Reach. I don't like it as much anymore, but it is decent. Uh, Halo 4 EOD, where is that? I know we have Halo 4 EOD. Um, why can't I see it? Uh, am I, like, actually, there it is. Uh, someone pointed out this kind of looks a bit like a Stormtrooper, and I see the resemblance. It's also going to go in B tier, not as high as the other two, but it's still a decent helmet. As for Rampart, I honestly like Rampart more. Its attachment is hideous, but if you use it with some of the other attachments, it can look even better. I just think Rampart is such an amazing helmet, and you can make some really cool, tanky-looking builds. I think it's a very tanky-looking helmet. It's good for making those tanky Spartans. It's a shame its attachment didn't make it look more like EOD. Instead, we got this Sid the Sloth-looking thing. Maybe give it, like, an actual... The things that EOD actually has. But maybe they didn't because Lad Belcher is also in the game. So they wanted to make him look a bit different and distinguishable from one another. Rather than having the same helmet twice. I think Rampart is like actually free whereas Lad Belcher was paid. Uh, we, we'll probably get classic EOD eventually. We also have Halo 3 EOD. Which honestly now that I think about it. is like, Halo 4 EOD is more similar to classic EOD than the Reach one. Which is quite hilarious. But Halo 3 is definitely is not as good. I think it's the worst version of the EOD line. So I'm going to put that in C tier. Uh, I'm going to put it higher than most of the other ones. So it's going to go there. It's not a terrible helmet. It just isn't as good. I actually just realized this list doesn't have all the new ones that were added with MCC. So maybe this is something I'll actually revisit in future. But I will do every helmet. Uh, I could just add them to this one. But I feel like that would make the video so long. And it isn't really necessary, but I will definitely probably do one in future with all those two because I think there's some really cool helmets among that and there's some, there's some that I'd actually love to talk about. So maybe that's something I'll do in future. Uh, next up, we're just we're going to rank GRD. I don't know why, we're just going to rank GRD. I think the the version of it's not the one where the visor is covered, but where it has like the sort of gas mask thing that the bottom is decent. Uh, but as a whole, it's not a great helmet. I'm going to put it in C. 
Um, without the attachments, it looks kind of ugly. Uh, and then the infinite one is dog water. I hate how the infinite one looks. It, I, it's funny because I actually used it at one point. I think depending on the, if you have the right build, it looks okay. But I'm, I'm really just not a fan of G.O.D. Glad they brought it back. I would like to see a more classic version. They could probably bring this one back for the Witch Quest. I say classic, but I guess technically it isn't really a classic helmet. Uh, but I do hope they bring it back for the Reach Core. Infinite one, I'm just not a fan of. And since this was added to Reach at the same time, let's also rank Mariner. Mariner is going to go at the front of B tier. Um, actually, no, it's going to go just behind Infinite Locus. Mariner is definitely a helmet that they should also bring back. I think it will fit perfectly on the Spy Core that we know we're getting in Season 3. And honestly, this is usually regarded as like the Doom Guy helmet because it does have similarities. So they should definitely bring Mariner back. I think that would be awesome. It's weird that they've added both GRD and Mariner to this list, as well as Orion, which we'll rank next. Uh, but none of the other MCC helmets, which is kind of bizarre. Uh, but Orion is going to go at front and center of A tier. It's a very cool helmet. Uh, it's not even one that anyone really has nostalgia attached to. Obviously, it's from the original reveal, so that's really cool. But as a whole, I just think it's a decent helmet. And honestly, I think it does fit somewhat well into the Mark 6, VI, Mark 5, Mark 4 line. It's a cool helmet. Mark 4 is going to go S+. Plus. I mean, why wouldn't it? Come on. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's iconic. The Mark 5 Alpha is going to go in S tier, still a good helmet, not as good, the Halo 3 Mark V is going to go S+, plus. again, solid helmet, can't really complain about it too much, Halo 4 Mark V is also going to go S+, plus. Uh, honestly, I think it, it looks sweet, I don't like the rest of the armor, I think the shoulder pads are fine, but the chest piece looks ugly, uh, and the, I think some people say that it's the same one as Combat Evolved Anniversary, but I think it looks much better in Halo 4 than it does in CEA, I think it looks ugly in Combat Evolved Anniversary, but in Halo 4, it looks kind of nice, and I do like it there. And then Reach Mark 5 is also S+. Uh, we're finally getting it in Halo Infinite. We are getting it in just a few weeks, which I'm very excited for, so thank God for that. Uh, am I missing? I think that's every version from the from that line. Uh, other than, I guess, technically the Mark 7. The Mark 7 doesn't really look like it's part of the same line, but it's the only one where it's just Mark something. So, again, Mark 7, it's got to go S+. Plus. It's funny that we have more helmets in S+. Plus. Than we do in any of the tiers at the minute, but that is simply because Halo has that many amazing helmets. There's a few other helmets that are also returning in the winter update soon, like CQB, which we're going to rank in A tier. I think both the Halo 3 and Reach versions are quite similar, so they're both going to go in A. Decent helmets overall, glad that's coming back. All the CQB enjoyers will now rejoice. We're also getting the return of CQC, which I do think is a little bit better, but it's still just an A tier helmet. We're going to put it just here, just in front of CQB. And that one obviously doesn't have any other versions, so that's just going to sit nicely there. Again, solid helmet. I'm now realising I don't remember what half of the Halo 4 helmets are called. There's definitely some that I remember, but there is that many I can't remember all of them. Halo 4 EVA, C tier, not as good as regular EVA. I remember it as a kid, I used to be absolutely obsessed with the EVA type helmets. EVA was like, at one point, my favourite. Halo 4 EVA, for some reason, I liked a lot, even though it isn't really very good. I was also a big fan of Oceanic, the one that is like EVA, but with like a bar, which I'm also, I'm going to put that in B. Um, I guess I have a little bit of nostalgia attached to that now. Regular EVA is going to go A tier, just B, just there. I know I said those two are very similar, which they are, but I do think I prefer EVA over Halo 3, over Halo 3 CQB. Halo 3's EVA is B tier. It's definitely better than Halo 4's, but I think Reach's is the better version as a whole. And then we also have some helmets that are very similar, like Hermes, the one from Halo 5, the one that Kelly has, I think. Or Kelly or Lindit, one, one of them. Uh, which Hermes, I'm really not a fan of. Again, it's just, it's just like Halo 4's EVA, but I honestly think I prefer EVA more than Hermes, just as a whole. I just don't think Hermes is as nice. And I think that's it for the, the EVA helmets, but there is still some that are similar, like, you know, the, the, the fishbowl kind of helmets. Uh, like Security, this one is Security. I, I definitely think this one's Security. Uh, this is a BTA helmet, decent helmet. Uh, is this one Pilot? That doesn't sound right. Is it called Pilot? Why can't I remember this? The one that has the Haunted variant. It's going to go BTA as well. Decent helmet, again, Haunted variant is very cool. Would have been perfect for a Halloween event, but who knows, maybe 343 is saving that for a later date. Uh, this one from Season 2, from the Season 2 Battle Pass. Uh, Stigbog or something. Dark water. Ugly helmet, man. Ugly helmet. It's okay with some of the attachments, but again, it's, it's just not good. Zvezda, 
I'm actually going to put in A tier. I like Zvezda. Uh, I don't think it's as good as EVA, but I still think it's a very good helmet. It's attachment ugly, but it's a good helmet. It's a good successor to EVA. Honestly, it looks like a mix of EVA and Atlas. Atlas will rank next. I was also I also found this one really cool one. It was added Halo 5. I think that was a pretty hype moment. It was like, oh my god, another EVA helmet. So let's uh, let's put this in B tier. Uh, we'll put it just there, just in front of Halo 3 EVA. In fact, we're also going to put both of those in front of that because I do think they're the better helmets. Buccaneer. I used this one for a good while. I can distinctly remember using this in some of my very old Halo 5 videos. Dogwater helmet. I don't know what was wrong with me as a child. I don't know why I had no taste. Freebooter. Dogwater. Venture. Dogwater. There's going to be so many Halo 5 helmets in Dogwater. Icarus honestly looks like Halo 3 security. Dogwater. Halo 3 security. Dogwater. <laughs> Orbital. C tier. It's okay. Vector. Dogwater. Is there any other like fishbowl kind of ones? I know I know that's probably not the right term for all of them. But they all have like these sort of big round visors. Some of them it's definitely smaller. I mean Icarus I guess doesn't really fit in that category. But they have a somewhat similar look which is why I'm just sort of grouping them together. Oh wait 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 wait. Rogue? Is this one Rogue? Uh, Halo 4 Rogue is... Decent. We're gonna put C tier. Uh, I think that's actually like a little bit better than EVA. It's gonna go C tier. Okay, so carrying on, since there's only four left, we might as well just quickly rank the rest of the Halo 3 ones. I'm gonna put Hayabusa in S. We all know that it's an extremely popular helmet as a whole. The armor set is awesome. I think I'm still using the shoulder pads in MCC. And the helmet is obviously a very cool one. I just don't use it because of how popular it is sometimes. I don't tend to use the armor that is super common. That's not always the case. I do use the Mark VI and the Mark V quite a lot on a lot of the games. But as a whole, I try to use stuff that maybe isn't super common. Just so my spot stands out that little bit more. And Hayabusa is obviously undeniably one of the coolest helmets. But because it is so popular, I don't tend to use it. It's definitely an S tier helmet though. Scout in Halo 3, I really don't like. I'm going to put that in dog water. I honestly think it's a pretty hideous helmet. Uh, I don't know if that's a hot take. I just don't think it's very good. It's not the worst, though, so we're going to put it over here. I do not think it's the worst. In fact, we're going to move Buccaneer just up a little bit because I do think it's better than Con Mage. We're actually going to move Con Mage uh, down to here. Yeah, uh, I think that's, that's, that's fine for the most part. Rogue is... I'm going to put Rogue in C tier. I honestly think Halo 4's rendition of Rogue is better. Uh, even though they're very different helmets, it's it, you can't even really compare them. They're very different helmets, but I'm not a massive fan of Halo 3 Rogue. And Recon, I'm not a massive fan of Recon as is. Halo 3 is fine. We'll put it in B tier. Same with Reach Recon. Where is it? There, we'll put that in B tier. I think Halo 3 is a little bit better. 3 doesn't make his spawn look like he's got a tiny head. I don't know if... I can't remember if that's just an infinite thing or if that was the case in Reach. But Reach Recon just kind of makes his spawn look like he's got a tiny head. And then we've also got Halo 4 Recon, which I think... Is a little bit better than Reach's. Clearly still Recon. I think overall it's a pretty good successor to both helmets. It was definitely different and matched the 343 art style. But it didn't feel like a massive change to where the helmet was unrecognisable. Like some of the other ones. And then when it comes to Recon we've also got Trailblazer which is basically the new one. And I think this does a great job at combining both the Reclaimer and Bungie era of games. And creates a pretty solid Recon design overall. And I honestly think Trailblazer is probably the best version of Recon we've had. I think it's a really good helmet overall. It, like I said, it does a great job of blending both, and it's just a good helmet. Just realized I forgot to rank the Mark V Zeta. That is also an S plus tier helmet. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, come on, it's, it's so sexy. It's such a good helmet. <laughs> I'm going to try and rapid fire through a few of these Halo 4 ones now, and probably some of the Halo 5 ones, just because of how many there is. Uh, but we'll, actually, we'll do the Halo 2 anniversary ones first. Uh, this one, CTA, I can't remember the name. Don't really care. Centurion? I think Centurion. Uh, it's, it's not great. And the other one, which is the one that I prefer. Also still not an amazing helmet, but definitely one I'd like to see them bring back. I'm going to stick that here in B tier. It's decent. Uh, why can't I remember the name? That's the one that I actually like, and I can't remember the name. Wetwork, B tier. Decent helmet again. One of the better 343 Euro ones. Um, the Forerunner looking one. What's it called? Pathfinder? It's not Pathfinder. What, what is this one called? Why are all the helmet names leave my head? This is all knowledge that I thought I had stored in my brain. Uh, yeah, this is an A tier helmet, I think. Uh, yeah, that's gonna go there. I think it's a good helmet. Definitely one that you should bring back. Uh, Ricochet. I think the helmet is okay. The rest of the armor is great, but the helmet is just okay. So it's gonna get put in C tier, but it's gonna be high C tier. I think it's it's decent. Air Assault. 
city here. Air Assault's kind of mid. It is such a mid helmet. Reach one also isn't great, so that's going C tier. Volant is also, I guess, the new version of Air Assault. Where's Volant? Volant is honestly worse than the other two, so that's going to go the bottom of C tier for now. Um, some of these might be rearranged. I don't know. I don't really care enough. Oh, I realized we already ranked Halo 3 Scout, so we should probably do the other versions of Scout 2, right? Reach Scout is... It's it's mid B tier. I think it's a decent helmet. I, I do like Reach Scout. It has similarities to like the Mark VI and the Mark V, which is kind of cool. And then Halo 4 and 5 Scout, where are you? Where are you? The one that Palmer uses. I'm actually looking at this and realized I got my versions of Rogue mixed up. I think this one is Halo 4 Rogue. And I probably had some people that are now angry at me in the comments. This one is going to go in the same place because I think this one's very good too. They're very similar helmets now that I look at them. What is that one called then? Why well, can't I remember the name of that one? I know that one's rogue though because of the shoulders. I think they're the shoulders that I used for a good while in MCC. I can't remember the name though. What? <laughs> I, that one is rogue. I know that one's rogue. Can't remember what that one's called though. Scout's here. Okay. I don't know why I was just expecting the spawn that they used as the render. Well, as the, the picture to be Palmer, but it isn't. Uh, C tier. Low C tier. It's not great. It's not great. Scanner though, which I think is also kind of similar to Scout. Also not really. Uh, is a little bit better. Still C tier, but it is a little bit better. I think Scanner's an okay ish helmet. I think that's every version of Scout. I know Scanner isn't technically, but I it, they share similarities, at least in my professional opinion. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and get through some of the ones that have multiple versions. So we know Aviator is in both Halo 4 and Infinite. Aviator, originally, I think it's a pretty dog water helmet. It's not the worst, but it's not great. And then Infinite's Aviator is only a little bit better it honestly it's kind of fat it's a bit of a fat helmet but it's gonna get low c tier it's it's okay soldier as well i think it's fine low c tier but the halo 4 soldier is definitely worse where are you yeah you're definitely worse soldier is definitely improved but it's doing the goofy joker smile which i think is kind of bizarre warmaster is one that we know is in both and i think warmaster is pretty cool warmaster is gonna go mid b tier it's going to sit just there. I think it's one of the best Halo 4 helmets. But Infinite's Warmaster, especially with the attachment, is such a good helmet. Where are you? Where are you? Why can't I find... Oh, it's there. I'm such a moron. S tier helmet, 100% S tier, especially with the attachment. It's great. Cambion, though, which is clearly like a version of Warmaster, just isn't as good. I don't like Cambion. That's going to go low C tier as well. Not, not a fan of Cambion at all. Then it's another Halo 4 helmet that I think is decent. B tier, it's okay, it's okay, it's not bad by any means. Uh, Warrior, I'd argue is one of the more recognisable ones, and I honestly think it's an A tier helmet. It's grown on me much more recently. Uh, I think it's, it's a pretty good helmet. Hazip, I like Halo 4's Hazip. It's a very different helmet. I don't know if I think it's as good, but I do think it is a good helmet. Recruit is also a pretty solid one. It definitely feels like the sort of recruit helmet, so it's going to go high B tier. Uh, it's not necessarily that it's my favourite by any means. I just think it's a solid helmet overall. And does a good job at what it's supposed to do. And be this sort of beginner, lower level helmet. Photos is one of the more iconic ones from this era. But I don't think it's the best. I think it's decent. It's a pretty funny helmet. It's going to go C tier, I think. It's Yeah, it's going to sit there in C tier. Uh, Halo 4 Operator is also going to go C tier. Because I do like this one. And then Normal Operator is definitely going to go a bit higher. Gen 1 Operator is definitely a B-tier helmet at least. Uh, I'm going to put it above Recon. I think it's a bit better than Recon. Good helmet overall. There's probably some that I'm missing that do have versions in both games. But I can't remember what half of them are because a lot of the Halo 4 and 5 ones look that different. That it's kind of it's kind of hard to keep track of all of them. Let's put some more in Dogwater though. Goblin is Dogwater. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to explain it. Seeker is obviously S... No. No, we're not, we're not even we're not even gonna go through that joke. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, Copperhead, I don't think is the best either. I'm gonna put Copperhead in Dogwater, but it's gonna go high Dogwater. Uh, I know this helmet probably has some fans just because of Veil. Technician, also kind of a Dogwater helmet. Hunter, Hunter's grown on me. I think Hunter is again one of the best 343 era designs. I'm gonna put it A tier. I don't like Locke as a character, but his helmet is pretty cool. His chest piece kind of looks like he's wearing a bra, but we are only ranking the helmets here, so you know it's fine. Argus, I hate this helmet, man. I don't like, I don't like Argus. I don't like Shikari, which is basically the new version. I don't like the the new version that Linda actually has on the cover of Heroes and Reach and the one that the new figure has. It is such an ugly helmet, man. 
Now Centurion, however, again, pretty cool. 80, I like that helmet. Decimator is the Mark V B, but ugly. So, dog water. Uh, the Mark V B, though, is an S tier helmet. A again, it does a great job of being that sort of recruit helmet, but its design overall just looks better. And then, with the option of all the different attachments, I think they really add to it, and you can make a really cool spawn with this helmet that doesn't actually look like recruit. recruit. It's pretty iconic as well because of Noble Six. That's pretty explanatory. Uh, that's pretty self explanatory, but yeah, good helmet overall. This one, don't remember the name, kind of dog water. Uh, Dead Eye, low C tier. This one, dog water, but it's better than some of these other ones. So it's gonna go there. Same with this one, it's, it's a bit better than some of these other ones. Um, Defender, which kind of looks like JFO. I used to actually think it was JFO, which, like, it, it has a similar visor shape, I think that's why I used to think that. Uh, it looks like it's got a face, which I don't like. So this is gonna sit in dog water, but it is better than some of these other ones. JFO is gonna go in B tier. I think it's okay. Uh, it's gonna sit just behind Recon. I think it's a decent helmet. It's not my favorite by any means, but it's okay. Um, wow, those two are really similar, aren't they? They are really similar helmets. God, there's so many just dog water ones from Halo 4. I don't even really think it matters where I rank them that much. I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna chuck a bunch of these in there. This one, B tier though, or C tier. Um, no, in fact, in fact, you, you're BT, you're okay, you're okay. That's the one that the guy from Red vs. Blue uses, Shark Face. Uh, I feel like some of these, is this one Lancer? Some of these, the Master Chief Collection versions are actually better. Not all of them, like Defender and MCC looks ugly. Air Assault is kind of a mixed bag, but I do feel like some of the ones that they brought to Halo 3 and MCC actually look better than their Halo 4 versions. It's not even why they've necessarily mixed the art styles either. They tried to make them look a bit more like they fit with Halo 3, but... Not fully, but I think some of them, the changes they made were better. This one, I remember you got through like putting a cheat code in on Halo Waypoint. I remember my cousin did that for me, but it's not a very good helmet. <laughs> We're sticking that in dog water. Same with this one. Uh, that one as well, also dog water. And you, my good friend, are also dog water. I remember one of them, because you had the prestige system in Halo 4. And I think it was Operator that I was like trying to grind for. But since I mostly played custom games, I don't think I ever got it. I played a lot of Halo 4. But I think it was mostly customs, and I never got Operator, which I think is the one that was going for. Um, but, yeah, that's all the Halo 4 helmets ranked, at least. There, there, was a, there were so many. It, de it definitely felt like quantity over quality. There is some good ones, like I say, Hazard was pretty cool. Warrior, uh, 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 Halo 4 ODST, I know that's like a, a new version of a classic helmet. But I do think there were some good designs from Halo 4. There's just so many that weren't great. I don't even hate the 343 art style as a whole. I just think some of these armor designs were pretty ugly. But there is some that I like, and, you know, we're going to find out about some of them in a sec. Like Shinobi. I think Shinobi was decent. This kind of felt like Halo 5's version of uh, Hayabusa. And I'm going to stick that in B tier. It's going to go low B tier, but, you know, higher than some of these Halo 4 ones, I think. Uh, yeah, we're going to stick it there. It's a decent helmet. I'm now trying to think of other Halo 5 ones that I like. Void Dancer, I don't remember ever seeing. I don't know if I ever unlocked it. It sounds familiar, but I have no recollection of this helmet. I'm going to put it in B tier, because from the picture there, it looks cool. I don't remember if I ever had this, though. Helio Skrill is also going to go A tier. Helio Skrill is a pretty iconic one. Uh, obviously, it's based off the Arbiter's armor, which is sweet. Good helmet overall. Hellcat, kind of dog water. Kind of dog water. Honestly, I hate it more because of Red vs. Blue Season 16. But they had the, the AI gods that weren't really gods. I don't know. Wow, this is this is going to be a long video, isn't it? It's a very different video. <laughs> I feel like I've started to just go into ramble ter territory. Infiltrator. Um, is this the one that I was thinking? Of? Aren't they the same helmets? Where there was one that I just ranked somewhere down here that I thought was this one. Bro, am I be am I is my brain exploding? Right, that's Gungnir. I know that's Gungnir. That one sucks. Uh, was it that one? I think I'm getting. I think I'm getting helmets mixed up. This one got added to Halo Three, I think, and in Halo Three it looks a lot better. Um, but now you're dog water. Dog water. Achilles is. It's low C tier. It's not terrible. If you had it, then you were a sweat. But it's not the worst helmet. Uh, Viper also low C tier. Legionnaire. I kind of like the the idea behind Legionnaire, but I think the execution was done a little bit better in MCC. Not with Legionnaire, but with the whole. Spartan theming of armor. I think it's because it had actual Spartan themed armor in MCC. Anubis, we've got to rank Anubis pretty high. Anubis is definitely AT. It's one of the best helmets from that game. And then Infinite's Anubis, I actually think it's S tier. I think it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, I'm, I do prefer the 
classic art style a little bit more. Granted, the classic art style was definitely something that changed per game. When it comes to Halo art style, I think Infinite's is peak. The armor in Infinite looks phenomenal. Some of the new stuff like Rick Chassis is it definitely, definitely has more callbacks to the Gen 2 stuff. And we have had some versions of Gen 2 designs, like we had Sealox, which is there actually. I actually forgot to rank that one. That is basically Scout. I'm going to rank that essentially in the same place where I ranked Scout. Uh, I do think it's a little tiny bit better, but not by much because they are essentially the same helmet. Um, but I do think Infinite is peak art style. It would be cool if they, we had some more Gen 2 stuff. There was definitely a few Gen 2 helmets I would like to see them bring back. And I think it would be very cool if they did Gen 2 core. Like they could just do an Osiris core, which has Locke's armor and then some of the other helmets from Fireteam Osiris. That would be sweet. And I think that would be a very cool thing if they did that. And we definitely appease to fans of that art style a little bit more. But moving on, because that is not the, the point of this video. Cinder, I believe this is the Ascend Hyperion helmet. B tier. Rajin is a cool one. Rajin is one, again, I'd love them to bring back. I'm going to put that A tier. I think Rajin Stormstrike is my favorite version. Athlon as well. The Athlon is one that I think could have been the recruit helmet for Halo 5. It's, again, a really solid helmet. Um, I think this was basically like the recruit helmet for HCS. Th that's what Athlon was, and I, I kind of like it. Faux Hammer, Dogwater, Tension, Dogwater, Cypher, Nomad. Maverick, a lot of these are kind of eh. I swear Maverick has cat ears as well, man. Reaper, uh, you can go CT, you can go CT. Reaper gets pass. Dogwater, dog, mm, no, Stinger gets pass. Trace it, Dogwater. Marauder, CT, Mako, I like the one where it has the shark teeth, but still, no, Dogwater. Oh my god, some of these suck. <laughs> Dynast, though, Dynast is B tier. I like Dynast. Wait, didn't I already rank you? Okay, I could have sworn I ranked Breaker, but Break, Break, no, Breaker gets, Breaker gets C tier. Recluse, Dogwater, Argonaut, Dogwater, Challenger, not a fan, Cyclops, again, no, no, no. That is all the Halo 5 helmets done. Again, there's some that I like, you can see clearly that there's a few that I like here. Um, but again, Halo 4 and 5, it was the fact that it seemed to value quantity over quality. Made sense a bit more in the context of Halo 5. There's definitely some good helmets amongst the bunch, which they I think some of those tend to be the more popular ones, but a lot of them are kind of ugly. Now we just got the rest of the Reach and Infinite ones. We spoke about Hazup earlier. I'm going to put this one just above Halo 4 Hazup because I think Hazup's a cool helmet. I remember this was like a good one early game too because you could get it pretty early on in Reach, and it was a pretty popular one. I did like it. For some reason, I think, again, when I was a kid, I used to get Hazup and Commando mixed up. I don't know how. They're not even similar. They have a similar shape, I guess, but they are not similar helmets. Commando, though, also A tier. Um, I'm going to put it just in front of CQB. Just because, I think, with its attachment... Um, in fact, we're, we're going to put it there. With its attachment, it looks great. The one that Carter actually uses. Not not that attachment. The one that adds the, the thing on the front. You know which one I'm on about. Uh, George's helmet. Why can't I remember the name? Also an A tier helmet. Good helmet. Gungnir. Dogwater. See guys, I do like I do dislike some of the the, uh, the classic stuff too. Gung is a dogwater helmet. <laughs> Military police is it's C T A. It's not terrible, but it's not the best. So we're gonna stick that there. The one from Akshasa. This is an A tier helmet. I just wish we had a version without the teeth, but with it's uh, it's like tactical helmet too. Din's attachment. Uh that's cool. I like that one. Brawler kind of seems like the new version of Dynast, but I think Dynast is a little bit better. Something about it just looks a little bit better, but they are clearly very similar helmets. Cavallano. A tier, good default helmet, very good default helmet. Enigma, mm, C tier. Uh, mid, low C tier, it's it's not the best. We are gonna we are gonna stick to both some of these other ones, though. Yeah, I, I think there is a pretty fit ranking for Enigma. It's just, it's just got a massive forehead. Um... ISR, bottom of C tier. Almost dog water, but very low C tier. Enforcer, B tier. It's it's okay with its attachment. Stormfall, dog water. Come on, man. Dog water. Where's uh, Gungnir? We'll put it right next to Gungnir. Without the attachment, hideous. With the attachment, it's a little bit more tolerable. ULLR is also just Gungnir. Dog water. Default Rakshasa helmet, A tier. I think it's a very good default helmet for the core. It is such a solid helmet overall and with the attachments. It's got some good options. We're going to move this up, actually, a little bit. We're going to stick that here, just above Anubis. Good helmet. Lacuse. I, I 
don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But this one, B tier. We're going to stick it just here in front of Shinobi. Morrigan is going to go S tier. Morrigan has a great helmet. He is a great helmet. And then this one, the one that looks like uh, a Shaw Trooper. No, the one that looks like a Star Wars Jungle Trooper. Also A tier. And that's all of them. This ended up being so much longer than I expected. But that is the definitive ranking for every Halo helmet. I don't just mean my ranking. This isn't just my personal ranking. This is the definitive ranking. Any Anything else, any other ranking is objectively incorrect. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you managed to watch to the end, extra thank you. Uh, yeah, this ended up going on way longer than I expected. I kind of forgot how many helmets there were in this game. Obviously, some of them I wanted to talk about a little bit more. And a few of them I did, but then I realised, oh, this is really dragging on. I probably should try to get through a few of these a bit quicker. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, let me know, and I'll revisit this idea in future, including all the MCC ones. We'll probably do it like maybe Season 3, Season 4 time, when there's way more to rank, which will mean it'll be even longer, but it should be pretty fun. Anyway, again, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.